Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, let's take a look at how to calculate the greatest common divisor between two numbers. Okay, so in short, we called it as GCD. So before we try to solve it, let's look at the definition first. Okay, so the definition is GCD of x comma y represents the maximum integer which can divide both x and y without any reminder that means the reminder of x and y needs to be zero okay so we might not be able to understand this through this definition so let's look at some examples okay so the First example is GCD of 2 comma 3 is going to be equal to 1. Why? The definition says we need to find the maximum integer which can divide both X and Y without any reminder. So we can divide 2 by 1 comma 2 only. Okay, so I'm going to write it in here. So we can divide the 2 without any reminder. So only 1 comma 2. So the 2 can be divided by 1 and 2. And 3 can be divided by 1 comma 3. But we need to find a common integer. So 2 is not present in here. And 3 is not present in here. That means the only answer for this one is we have 1 only. So now we have find the maximum integer which can divide both x and y without any reminder. So here the answer will be 1. Okay. I hope you understand now. If you don't understand, don't worry. We will look at several other examples. Okay. So the second example is GCD of 2 comma 4. So we need to find the maximum number which can divide the 2 and 4 okay so we will write all the integers which can divide x and we will write all the integers which can divide y and we will find the common integer the maximum common integer okay so if we take the 2 uh, 2 can be divided by 1 and 2 and if we take the 4 4 can be divided by 1 2 4 so if you observe here we have 1 and 2 common but we need to find the maximum one so here the maximum one will be 2 so the GCD of 2 and 4 will be in this in this case will be 2 if we do the same thing you can find the GCD of 4 comma 6 will be 2 okay and if you do the same thing for the GCD of 9 comma 12 will be 3 I hope now you can uh, able to do GCD of small numbers but the problem comes when we go for the GCD of bigger numbers like thousand, millions, billions. So if we go for those kind of numbers, then we, we, we couldn't get the GCD by using this method. Why? Because for a big number, there will be a lot of divisors. So it's, it's, it's a bit harder. We can find, but it's a very hard if we go in this trivial method so we need to find some trick to break it down into smaller numbers okay yeah so we'll, f we'll first go through that uh, uh, trick method and then we'll solve this gcd of thousand and thousand three hundred okay but now i hope that you have understand what is gcd and i believe that you can solve the gcd of small numbers so let's look at the trick. You can apply this trick for small numbers and big numbers. This trick is specifically used for the big numbers. So let's look at the trick and solve this big numbers. Okay, fine. Yeah, so the trick is really very simple. So this is the trick. Okay, let's say we want to find the GCD of two numbers. Let's take that two numbers as X and Y. Okay, so you can take the GCD of thousand and thousand three hundred or gcd of thousand three hundred or thousand so first what you have to do is to make sure the first number is greater than the second number that means you have to write gcd of thousand three hundred then thousand not the thousand and thousand three hundred i hope you understand the first 
uh, must step so first you write the greater number then you write the smaller number okay so you need to find the gcd of 1300 and 1000 so next what you have to do is it's a iterative approach that means you have to do it again and again and again and again and then again until you comes to a, a terminating condition okay so in here what you have to do is so now you have a gcd of a bigger number than a smaller number so from this you have to uh, come to this conclusion sorry to this method where uh, we can uh, reduce the the numbers inside inside the gcd by doing this so now we know x uh, greater than y so in the next step what you have to do is you have to find the gcd of y that means this number you have to put the second number to the first position and for the second position what you have to do is uh, you have to take the reminder of x when you divide by y so this uh, percentage symbols represent the reminder okay so uh, what i am trying to say is both these answers will be equal and why we do this because to reduce this number so that we can find very easily okay so if you so you have to do this again and again and again and again until uh, uh, you come to a, a terminating condition okay so what you have to do you have to first first step you have to put the bigger number front then the second number will be smaller than the first number then you have to iteratively do putting the second number to the first and the second position first number uh, reminder of first number when we divide it by the second number that means this step okay so we'll do it again and again and again and again okay pretty simple right so but we need to find the terminating condition okay the, 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 the terminating condition is also very simple okay so we we'll keep doing it until one of the element inside becomes zero that means uh, let's say we keep doing it uh, this one or this one will come zero okay definitely it will come to zero so that point you have to stop uh, stop the iterative process that means you have to stop this place uh, let's say at one point of time it comes as 10 and it comes as zero or it comes as zero or it comes as 10 then you have to stop this then let's say that condition is here we have some number and a zero then what you have to do is you have to take that number not the zero but the other number for inside the gcd so actually that is going to be your final answer pretty easy right so the gcd of x comma y is going to be z i hope you understand this very well it's a simple trick if you do this step for only one question definitely you will never forget this okay anyway i'm let me tell you a bit again so what you have to do is so for the first step you have to in, um, uh, for the first as a very first step you have to put the bigger number inside the gcd then the smaller number in the second position okay that's your first step okay and the second step is you have to do it iteratively uh, what you have to do is you have to put the second number in the front and uh, in the second position you put the reminder of the first number when you divide it by the second number okay so uh, so this is going to be your first step and this is going to be the second step so by keep doing this you are reducing the inside in the number but you are not changing the value of any of this term okay so what i'm trying to say is this one and this one both are actually equal okay so that's the second step we'll reducing the inside the number by keep doing this iterative process okay in the third step you have to observe whether any of the number is inside is zero so if, if any of the number is inside is zero then what you have to do is you just need to take that the number which is not zero so if you take that number so that is going to be a third step so if you third that if you take so if you take that number that is going to be your answer so in this case so GD, gcd of x comma y is going to be z okay if you still don't understand don't worry guys we are going to do this example uh, not this trivial uh, uh, harder method but this trick easy method okay so let's quickly uh, solve this uh, problem using this 
uh, using that tree okay 